Justin, are these all eggs? Yep. But they, did you use magic? Because they don't look different. Yeah, they do look different. But we didn't use magic, we used science. Good day and welcome to Exploring Science. eggs can do? Today, we're going to talk about osmosis. Hi, my name is Justin. In this video, Justin will help me and my group to show an experiment that we can do at home that demonstrates diffusion, osmosis, hypotonic solutions, and hypertonic solutions. But we will focus more on osmosis and hypertonic solutions. Osmosis is a process that lets liquid pass through a semi-permeable membrane. A semi-permeable membrane is a layer that only certain molecules can pass through. Now, we are going to do an experiment about osmosis through an egg. First thing we need to do is remove the shell. In order to do that, we have to put it in a cup of vinegar. Leave the egg in the vinegar for a couple of days until it looks like this and then gently rinse it off under the water. Now, we're going to do another one which takes out water with a thicker liquid. We'll use corn syrup for this next part. Remember that corn syrup is a hypersonic solution which has a high percentage of solute. Pour the cornstarch into a cup and add your no-shelled egg. We might have pushed the egg down a little bit because we want all of it underneath. We'll notice after a few hours, there will be this liquid on top and we are going to pour that out because otherwise, it will be sitting in the vinegar. Pour off the top vinegar and put your egg back in there again and leave it overnight. This is what it looks like once most of the liquid has been removed. As you can see, all of the water from the vinegar is out, and a lot of liquid from the egg is out. It's definitely not bouncy anymore. Diffusion and osmosis both occur when the particles move through the membrane. Here, we will show you what happened a while ago in the experiment we just did. We have a container with a porous barrier in the middle. Water molecules can pass through the tiny holes in the barrier, but not larger molecules. We will add some water to the both sides of the barrier. We will represent a few water molecules and show that they are moving randomly. You can see that they go through the barrier from left to right and from right to left. But, for each one that goes right, another one goes left, so an equilibrium is maintained. Now, we'll add some sugar to the right side. We see that the sugar molecules are too large to pass through the porous barrier. They just bounce off it. But water molecules are able to pass through the barrier. Let's focus on just the water. Notice there's a high concentration of water on the left side of the barrier with 13 water molecules shown. But on the right side, the concentration of water is low. There are only three water molecules showing. The rest of the space is taken up by the sugar molecules. Water molecules are small enough to pass through this barrier, and we know that water will diffuse through a barrier from an area of high concentration to an area of lower concentration. So in this case, it will diffuse toward the right chamber. As the water moves into the right chamber, the volume in the right chamber increases, while the volume in the left chamber decreases. Watch how they change. The concentration of water is now equal on both sides. Equilibrium has been reached. Stopping the animation, we see that the water has diffused to the barrier from an area of pure water to an area where solute sugar, in this case, is dissolved in the water. This process is called osmosis. Osmosis can be defined as the tendency 
of a solvent, usually water, to pass through a semi-permeable membrane into a solution where the solvent concentration is lower and the solute concentration is higher. In this case, water is the solvent and sugar is a solute. The substance dissolved in the solvent. Osmiosis plays a major role in living organisms. It aids in transportation of nutrients from cell to cell and also helps to remove the waste metabolic products from the cell. Both diffusion and osmiosis aim to equalize forces inside the cell and organism as a whole, spreading water, nutrients, and necessary chemicals from areas that contain a high concentration to areas that contain a low concentration. This is Group 2 and thank you for listening.